Alright, what's up, what's up, what's up? See, I'm over here dropping stuff. Alright, you guys, welcome to another edition of Tabloids and Trending Topics with T. As I said to you guys, we'll be coming back live 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Like, I got notes. And I also went ahead and uh, made me some tea, you know, so. Nice and strong, too. Alright, so, a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's get into it, shall we? So, I first want to talk about Young Thug and his daughter. So, you guys remember, maybe two to three weeks back, there was a viral video of his daughter saying, I'm motherfucking tired, right? So, you guys remember that. Well, you would think that with the backlash that not only he got, ah, oh, yeah, shout out representing, what's up? And you would think with the backlash that he got and even towards his baby mama that they would uh, keep her from going viral, right? Wrong. Apparently, not even apparently, the video is out, so pretty much uh, she's like rocking left to right, left to right, and saying something along the lines of did not directly quote her, but saying, if you've seen my daddy, tell him I love him and I miss him. And... It's one of those where, if that truly is the case, I'm very upset with the mother. I'm, I'm already upset with the mother from the whole I'm motherfucking tired video because that should have never fucking went viral. But if, you know, Young Thug, in fact, is not, you know, actively in his child's life, you couldn't have texted that to him. Oh, thank you for sharing that on Twitter, you know. But, you know, you couldn't, you know, send that to him in a text message or some other way but you want to put him on blast and at the same exact time and this is just me being me being objective i don't know if that really is the case i mean for all we know that could have just been the mother putting the child up to that i don't know so before i move on to the next topic what you guys think about that if you have any opinions you know like i honestly think that the mother she just needs to put down whatever camera she has because she's bringing too much attention to her herself her daughter and even her baby's father so yeah they need to seriously stop seriously stop little little rock little rock arkansas right is it just want to make sure you know i want to sit here and say nothing but arkansas is is that is that where you are shouting well i guess you checking in from Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you too. Okay. All right. Well, well welcome, welcome. Okay. Like I said, just trust, trust, trust and believe. We do cut up over here. So, all right. So, moving on to love and hip hop as a whole. As a whole. Oh, Cleveland. Oh, shit. Here we go, Cleveland. What's up now? So, let's start with uh, Young Bird. So we all know he ain't, he's an ain't shit motherfucker. Nobody really likes him. You know, whatever ties he has to Chicago have been cut, slit, burned, and revoked. Uh, like I said, ain't nobody from Chicago repping or even accepting him. You know what I'm saying? Like, let his ass stay in L.A. Well, we all know that, you know, he had his hearing last week. Uh, in reference to him putting his exactly no way <laughs> but in reference to him um you know hitting masika and if you guys saw the last turn the topics video i was highly upset with it because you know it's considered harassment apparently in new york it's considered harassment and he pretty much got up with a plea deal which you know that's unacceptable you know to be able to put your hands on a female you know punch her kick her and drag her you know through the room and that's all you get hit with well, you know, hey, they say when it rain, it pours. Immediately after, he got served with uh, back child support uh, papers. So pretty much the baby mama had been trying to get in contact with him for years. And when she finally found out that he was going to be in New York at court, you know, she decided to, you know, work with her people. Exactly got him <laughs> and serve him with those papers now here's the thing so he owes her oh houston all right now houston all right well i am I'm, I'm i'm having a great day i'm having a great day sipping on this tea you know 
Like I said, it's been a while since I done came on camera with a long guy, but that's all right. And in the event I run out, I got got more premix right here, so so we good. Ooh, Massachusetts. All right, we all over the U.S. today. But he owes ninety six thousand dollars in back child support to a woman named Brandy Flint, and apparently he hasn't paid child support to her since two thousand eleven, and has not been in the child's life since the baby was in diapers. Oh, and the Bears game. All right, all right now. All right, double dipping, double dipping, and. The crazy thing is, he's been hit with child support by another woman. I think it has already passed, but I think her name is uh, Bianca McFerrin. So right here, we see, okay, he's just a deadbeat. So what I'll say is this. You know, a lot of people already say that he's suspect, but to any female, if you get close to him, just <clears throat> don't fuck the man wrong. But don't let him fuck you wrong. Because as you can see, he's he ain't shit, you know. He owed child support to one female, getting hit up for another one. His car being declined, you know, when they popping bottles. He's sitting here dragging, you know, putting his hands on a female. But I guarantee if it was a motherfucking dude, he wouldn't even say shit to the motherfucker. Last that I checked, the motherfucker got punked out of his motherfucking chain. So you can't see him put your hands on a dude, but you can see him put your hands on a female. See? Motherfuckers like that. He better be hey, he, this motherfucker better be motherfucking happy. His ass and get put in jail. But you know what? He probably would like to hear. Y'all remember on the motherfucking reunion when he was talking about I think it was Omarion's thing. He's about to pull it out, how the motherfucker got all happy and jumped up and shit. He probably would have enjoyed it. Shit suspect that this motherfucker. That tea tastes good though. Alright, y'all. More love of hip hop. So that right there was uh Hollywood. We're going to go from, ooh, I didn't know about that, see, ooh, ooh, here's the thing, do me a favor, uh, Faye at 61, if you have the reference, go ahead and send that to me on some real shit, oh, right quick, uh, in, for those of you, like I said, well, it's new, like, I just started a, uh, Spillin' All the Tea Facebook fan page, so, when shit, like, when good articles and tea gets spilled, I'll post it there. When shows leak early, because like I said, I know people be like, how the fuck do you know? But when shows leak early, I'll drop them in there. Better yet, if you guys got some tea, again, it's Facebook, you know, slash spilling all the tea together. If y'all got some tea, drop the shit in there. You feel what I'm saying? But just want to throw it out there. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, put me up on that tea, you know. But fuck that mutt. Fuck that dude. Fuck him. Anyway. Oh wait! Thank you. What for? What? What? What I do? What? What? What I do? I'm I'm, I'm confused. Did I do something? <laughs> well, while I'm waiting uh, for that reply, so we're going from love of hip hop Hollywood to love of hip hop New York. So Erica Mena. So she, like I say, she is desperate for attention. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, for the video, oh, here's the, oh, some real shit. When it comes to the videos getting leaked, you know what I'm saying, like, because I, because what I normally do when a video leaks is I'll send it to a few people on Twitter, it, but the only thing is, like, the reason that I don't really, like, blast blast it, <laughs> well, hopefully you enjoyed those clips, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the clips, because of course I got that shit, not that far in advance, but far enough, but, you know, like, if I get the clip more often than not, you know, I'm trying to hurry up and do a video to it to upload it because, it, <laughs> yes, because it takes time. But I try to, you know, share it with whomever that I can. But at least with the Facebook fan page, it's easier. So if you guys are on there, again, when I get any kind of tea, that's where it's going to be. But back to Miss Erica Mena. So she decided to formally, uh, I guess we could say formally, break up with Bow Wow via Instagram. So did a, a couple of posts and whatnot. And here's the thing. She's hungry for attention. She really is. Now, I really wasn't here for Bow Wow coming for her when she uh, talked about uh, her miscarriage. Because, again, it was months ago. And it's one of those things where, again, I'm a dude. So, ah, uh, well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. James did give me a shout out. I, I, was, I was floored. I really was. I was fucking floored. But welcome. Welcome to the fam. But, um... <clears throat> Like I said, I'm a dude, so I don't know how it is to, you know, carry a child. I don't know. 
but from you know female because my family my, especially my mother's side of the family is predominantly females so it's one of those things where it's just like you know i've known some females who lose children even one of my cousins uh had an abortion because she felt she wasn't ready and it's one of those things where it's just like whether it be miscarriage abortion whatever it stays with you and it sometimes hunts you from what i've been told um so the fact that she decides to speak about it i'm not that upset about i mean if that's what she needs to do to cope let her do that because they're both media whores but the fact that instead of you just breaking up with him and just letting it be that you go to instagram to do it now here's where shit gets interesting i'm gonna put my damn notes down hold on guys so i get a little hot y'all know that tea that tea you know it's mostly alcohol but no if you guys remember the reunion of love and hip-hop new york the last reunion she it is it really is but see here's where the shit gets good though you're on the reunion you feel that you are so high mighty she pulls adrea michelle almost she wants to sit down personally with uh miss uh <laughs> with uh mona scott that's what she wants she wants to sit down and she wants to um you know talk to her instead of facing everybody there and i think it's because she knew that there were people coming for her and either a somebody was gonna put their hands on her or two they was gonna read her ass you know until she couldn't even be resurrected anymore like read her ass to the fucking death so you want to sit here and do that you want to make yourself seem all high mighty have your little breakdown and pretty much give us your you know graceful exit off the show because you done up and found bow wow who i'm not finna i'm not finna this bow wow i'm not gonna do that i'll let y'all do it but i'm not gonna do that but your whole thing is oh i'm i'm with mr 106 in park which is now canceled but you, you with him so you think you better and now this fairy tale that you thought and i think she was trying to get a spin off with mona but that relationship that you've put in everybody's face is no more so my whole thing is this i wonder if she is um if she put her uh knee pads and elbow pads back out and i wonder if she crawling back to lick up uh, mona's clit because i don't know what the fuck she's gonna do for some motherfucking money she might on the real shit she come back to motherfucking love and hip-hop <laughs> ready to somebody baby ready to somebody i'm just saying but if she comes back on love and hip-hop new york i don't know I might say some shit, but I I know it's gonna be a lot of whole chit chatter, so she might as well just lay low, lay all over the way to fuck them. But yeah, it's one of those ways. It's like you can't sit here and and I feel that it's sad their relationship is over. Oh yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, back on her hands and knees, crawling, you know, on her hands and knees, being a slave for, her, you know what I'm saying, letting that click. Because, see, because here's the thing. We all know that that Mona is a pimp. So, apparently, I guess Erica felt, okay, I'm done being a hoe for you. So, I want to sit here and I want to upgrade to a wife. Apparently, that didn't work. So, I guess she finna go back and get pimped out by Madam, you know, Mona Scott Young. I don't know. Like I said, if I see her back on the show again, I might have to have a one-on-one -on -one with her, okay? You know, it, it, is, it is a coward approach. I will say this, though. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Drea, if you really think about everything that had happened, Dre, like a lot of people just attack her. Drea got hands, but a lot of people attack Drea. So I do feel that her not being at the reunion was a good thing because she ain't Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn is going to fight her motherfucking body on stage. That's not Drea. You feel what I'm saying? That's not Drea. But with Erica, Erica started the most shit. She tried to make it seem like, motherfucker, I enhanced y'all's storyline. I made y'all's storyline. So I think more or less for her, she just didn't want to have to sit here and do the motherfucking back and forth. Okay, so like I said, I mean, again, I'm really not here for Drea per se, but I can understand her not coming to the reunion because, again, they hate Drea just because Drea is Drea. And it would have been bad if all of them would have tried to come for her at the same exact time. That's why I feel that was done. And I even talked to my sister, uh, Squeaky Jones, and... Hold on. <laughs> Quit to pull it off. But, you know, we did talk about, you know, Drea quitting the show. 
And it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, she quit the show, it is what it is, the shit is over. And we talk about other people quitting the show, but it's just like, look, she gave you what she gave you, and now she go. You know what I'm saying? So, she's fucking done with the basketball holes, and it is what the fuck it is. Now, we're leaving New York, and then we're coming back to Hollywood. So, uh, um, Milan Christopher decides to take to Instagram. Again, everybody wants to go to social media. A lot of this is going to be people going to social media day, okay? But decides to go to social media and say to uh, Miles that uh, pretty much they're broken up. For which show? Are we talking about the hoes? Uh, well, the love of hip-hop, New York. Which one are we talking about? If, if it's the basketball hoes, I'm not going to say a total recast, but if they bring back Brandy, which again I don't think Tan LA, if they bring back Brandy, they need to bring uh Tammy too on some real shit. Because that's why the fuck we real cause here's the thing on some real shit. I was mostly watching this shit because I wanted to see Tammy cut the fuck up. I'm just being honest, so But back to uh Love Hip Hop Hollywood. So Apparently, Miles has uh, been posting pics of him and uh, Milan on his uh, Instagram. So you have uh, Milan pretty much telling him, <clears throat> pretty much, and I'm, I, I said, I'm doing some quoting today, but y'all remember um, Beyonce. I laughed at the stuff claiming with me. But um, y'all, like I said, Beyonce, her very first album, Dangerously in Love, and I uh, Meet Myself and I, when she says, no need to front like you see it with me. All your homies. No, and I think that was Milan's whole thing. Is stop front, you know what I'm saying? And even if I quote, you know, Tamar Braxton with her latest album, sad to say her album did not do as well as uh, it probably should have done, but not here nor there. But when she says, you know, no need to, you know, front or stuff for the grandma, I forget the exact quote, but talking about, you know, posting up and, you know, presenting yourself to be different. I think that is what... Milan was saying, because again, I don't believe their relationship whatsoever, but his whole thing is, dude, stop fucking posting pics of me, because we're not fucking together, you know, you got enough shine, no need for you to use me. It is what it is. <clears throat> and to end this off, so we went from Hollywood to New York, back to Hollywood, so, let's go to Atlanta. <clears throat> now, y'all know almost every love of hip-hop they need somebody to be messy and carry the storyline. So, before I say it for Love and Hip Hop ATL, while I sit here and I sip on my tea for a second, who is the uh, shit stirrer or the person that carries the fucking storyline in ATL? I, I wonder if y'all truly know. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here. Yeah, I need maybe another. Hold on. Y'all don't know who it is? Hey, why, why I'm mixing up another one? It's Miss Carly Red. <laughs> love on top. Come on now. That's right, bitch. That's right. Ain't gonna pay for your love on top. Well, see, you know, here's the thing. Blind should have been paying for shit any motherfucking way. But, you know, hey, you know, love is blind. That's all I'm gonna say. You don't watch AT? Okay, well. Again, it's Miss doing this on camera for y'all. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Y'all y'all know how this shit go. Mix that up. Sit there right there. But it's Miss Carly Red. So for... It's one, of those, it's one of those where if you really watch her, of course, Carly Red, she's had different love interests. Well, apparently, she was all herged up at the BET Hip Hop Awards party. <laughs> She was hugged up with uh, OG Genesis, the guy that's, uh, you know, I'm in love with the Coco. Apparently the one hit wonder. So this is who she's hugged up with, which will probably be her love interest on Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> she's the best. All right, now she, I mean, but here's the thing, you know, I, I think, you know, April is giving her a romp her money on Hollywood. She not that messy, but she it, it seems like she's trying to help carry the storyline to carry the bullshit. But back to Carly Red, she was just with Life Jennings, and now you all heard up on OG Genesis. 
So it's one of those ways, like, she is fighting to stay on motherfucking. And my whole thing is this. We don't tune in for Carly Red and her fucking relationship. Now, her relationship with Jock was fucking interesting. My thing is this. Just play your damn position. If you the motherfucker that sit here and keep them storylines popping, then keep the storylines popping. But you do not need to sit here and, you know, fraud on camera. Because we all know. Don't nobody care. My thing is, I'm mad at life because unless she and life were really in a relationship, how dare you bring yourself down to sit here and be on this motherfucking show? Come on now. I need y'all to do better. Now, again, I still have more in this car, so we got more to talk about. But if you guys have not, please go ahead and share this on your Twitter. Get some more people over here because we're having a good time. I hope y'all are enjoying y'all so, okay? So... Let's go ahead and talk about Leola Brown. Now, I have not given her the time of day on any of my platforms. But I think I have to. So, she... Great conversation. Hey, it's, it's what we do. You know, I could just do this on YouTube, but I like for us to interact. Because, you know, sometimes y'all be going there harder than I fucking do. Oh, it's a real shit. But it's good. You know, interaction. All the good jazz. We get to cut the fuck up. And even, and and those are real shit, I am actually going to be out of the loop for probably the next, you know, four to five weeks. Because I have to go out and uh, do some business. Because <clears throat> y'all know what I do for a living, so I got to do some damn business and shit. So, I'm going to be away in an austere environment. So, I don't know how my cell phone service and whatnot going. I know. I know. I'm about to talk about it, though. But, <clears throat> I may not necessarily be here. Y'all may not get trending topics for another for four to five weeks, but I will do what I can to come on camera and give it to you. I will do my best. No promises. But, Layola is sitting, first and foremost, okay, she's claiming that she got some tea. She claiming that she got that good tea. She, it ain't this damn good, though, because this shit right here will put you on your ass now. But she's claiming that she has some tea to spill. It's claiming that it's going to rock the world. And my thing is, bitch, ain't you been saying this shit for like the past two? How long uh, Bobby Christina been laid down? I think two months maybe. Thank y'all so much for sharing this. Thank y'all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Low Gallagher. Here's the thing. And, and what is it? Uh, Angel Face. Oh, here's the thing. Okay. Because I don't know if you know about me. Very early on with my YouTube videos, like my show is called Spilling All the Tea. It ain't, here's the thing, I'm not talking about regular tea. I'm talking about Long Island. You go check out some of my early vids. There were a couple, my ass was fucking drunk off my ass doing fucking videos. So, when, I talk, when I'm talking about tea, I'm talking about that Long Island right there, but, okay. I even did it in the kitchen where I show you how to make this Long Island. Not to mention, oh, we know, all right now. Not to mention, again, I pre-mix my shit. You can see it in here. I pre-mix it and leave it in the refrigerator. So when I had them long days, just go ahead. As I mix it up, pour it in a cup, put a little bit of that dang on soda up in that bitch, and I'm ready to go. Exactly. And, and, and here's the thing. My YouTube channel name, it is uh, Spilling All The Tea. So everything spelled out just like that. You type it in, you guys will see it, and since you asked, I do want to say, for all those who have subscribed that are on here, of course, pre-made, baby. If you, Here's the thing, y'all need to follow me on social media. Again, go to my YouTube channel. Oh, definitely, this going to be on YouTube. This is about, like, literally, this shit going to be on there. You ain't even got to worry about that. You ain't got to ask. But if you guys are following me on social media, on my Instagram, I snapped a picture of me buying everything for it. Like, when I say... You know what? Don't be, don't be mad at me before what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to the fridge because I'm about to show y'all some shit. So, just stay just stay tuned. Don't don't type nothing. Just stay tuned for... Okay. Well, thank you for something, but stay tuned. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, pre-made. That's that, yes, pre motherfucking. Uh, you, this, you see this? Do y'all see? Pre motherfucking made Long Island up in this motherfucker. So, when I have them damn days, it ain't shit but to pour it into a cup and I'm good to go. So, yeah, pre motherfucking made. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm passing. I, I do. I, I do what I can. I do what I can. Let's make it rain with hearts. Thank you. You you know what? His thing. Please try. It. Please do. Ooh, Kool Aid container. Ooh, that, that, ooh, Kool Aid. All right now. No, but seriously, like I said, because everything together it was like eighty five dollars ish. But because Long Island is predominantly liquor, this is a little itty bitty, you know, a mason jar cup. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, one more second. Hold on. Okay. Some shit just fell, but don't worry about it. But this is normally what I drink it in. This is what it's in right now. But again, this right here, it, it'll get you right. It'll get you right. If I can go off with a quick 10 before I get back to Layola, shit, I was hanging out with the peoples yesterday, and I did not save those Periscope videos, and I didn't put them up or whatever. Oh, oh, definitely. It's what I does. It's, it's what I does. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to be. But no, like, I, I was hanging out with some friends last night, and I took this, because this right here was filled up about right here. I took that to the party. And I'm like, y'all want a real Long Island? Let's just say when these motherfuckers are saying, like, oh, this shit's strong. Motherfucker, I don't play. I don't play. It's what I does. All right, now. But back to Layola. Back, back to this hoe. So she she, she has been saying for <laughs> breast service today. She has been saying for the longest. Like, I have all this tea, this bill, all this tea. And now she's making this fucking post and shit. And my thing is this. Sit your ass smooth the fuck down. Okay? Just sit the fuck down. Because I'm tired. I'm tired. Like, my thing is this. The next time I talk about this hoe is going to be when she actually spills some motherfucking tea. Until then, I'm not, like, first one was I ain't talking about her ass yet. And I'm not finna talk about her ass no the fuck mo. Moving the fuck on. Alright, y'all. So, I'm going to ask y'all a question. How many of y'all have um, watched Flavor of Love? How many of y'all watched that shit? Because I know I did. I hope I'm not the only one. I really hope I'm not. Well, <laughs> you did all right. Good. I'm like, I don't want to be the only one. <laughs> it was one of those where it was a train wreck. It really was, but I watched it. Well, Miss Delicious, a.k.a. Chandra Davis, um, apparently she had to get her breast fixed. The uh, blogs did not necessarily say what was wrong with her breasts, whether she was just trying to get them bigger, or if there was like an issue, or maybe she was trying to get them more perky. We don't know. But in the process of her getting uh, them fixed, she did get in, like her breast got infected. So, <clears throat> like I said, it's it's very sad to hear. So I ask that everybody just keep this woman up in prayer because you know that that is some sad that's some sad shit. On some real shit, I hope she didn't sat here and sued whoever the fuck, you know, cut her ass open. But, I mean, that's some sad shit to hear. But, if I hear any more about that, I will definitely keep you guys posted. So, let's talk about some Star Wars. Now, first, before I say this now, I, have, I, I don't know Star Wars. I know that's bad. I'm pretty sure that's un-American. But, I don't know much about Star Wars. You know, but here's the thing. I don't know if she was going for plastic. I mean, and I'm not trying to be shady in no way, shape, or form. But you, and again, I know most of y'all tuning in right now are women. But I have known females who have gotten older. And they pretty much go in and just, you know, the surgery is just to make their breasts look more perky. Not to necessarily put anything in them. But they never stated what the, um, the surgery was for initially. So, but... Uh, there is a British actor, uh, I believe his name is, uh, Boyega, I believe that's his name, but he, oops, stand by. Ah, okay, well, thank, well, thank you so much for clarifying that. Again, you know, the blogs don't always tell your ass everything now, they don't tell you everything. But, um... This British actor, um, I said, there's a new Star Wars, I believe it's a movie coming out, and he's a black stormtrooper, and apparently you're going to see him without the mask and everything going, and he has been 
receiving so much fucking prejudice about it. And his whole thing is, look, we're in a new day, we're a new age, get the fuck over it. <clears throat> and I feel him on that. It's one of those where it's just like, okay, he's playing a fucking stormtrooper. It really shouldn't matter what somebody's race is. And we're so invested in this, but if we want to be very technical, if you go back, even with the latest Mortal Kombat uh, game that came out, one character who is very, who is black, I forget her fucking name, it's horrible. But I wasn't planning on talking about her, but she's clearly black, but they have lightened her skin to make her lighter, damn near fucking Asian looking. You feel what I'm saying? So it's one of those words, so that's okay, but to sit here and cast a black person in a role like that, you know, it's just like, but he took the shit in stride and pretty much just like, look, I'm already on it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting text messages from work and shit, but I'll reply to that shit when I'm done with this. As long as they don't call me while I'm doing this damn video, we'll be good. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, his, he took the shit in the stride. It's like, look, it's done. I'm in a movie. If you're going to watch it, you're going to watch it. If you don't, you don't. That's it. So that shit does. So, so let, let's go ahead and get to something a little bit interesting. Now, I do want y'all to respond with this. And, oh, fuck, this thing does not want to load right now. Really? Up oh, there it is. I mean, he, yeah, he got the check, but at the same exact time, I mean, this promotion and everything else, <clears throat> but at the same exact time, if you think about it, this is good publicity, because since everybody is saying this about him and the character, <clears throat> I mean, it's one of those where people are going to want to watch for the bullshit, for the fuck shit, so. So, um... Like I said, I don't watch Saturday Night Live. I do not. I haven't <clears throat> watched it in quite some time. But Eddie Murphy apparently was on there for the, uh, I guess, um, I think it was like a, yeah, like an anniversary or some shit. But he was on there, had been on there for like 30 some odd years. And <clears throat> they wanted him to do a skit about Bill Cosby. And he didn't. And I'm going to, now, please don't. Don't t type anything I'm about to read right now, but he pretty much told the Washington Post the following. Start quote. There's nothing funny about it. <clears throat> if you get up there and you crack jokes about him, you're just hurting people. You're hurting him. You're hurting the accusers. I was like, another quote, hey, I'm coming back to SNL for the anniversary. I'm not turning my back. I'm not turning my moment on the show into this other, end quote, end quote. And I must say, I have to applaud him. I really do. Because <clears throat> his old, it is not that he's giving up his moment for something else. It's that, you know, he's telling everybody, that you may think that I'm going to sit here and I'm going to clown somebody else, but I'm not going to do that. It's not worth it for me to do this. But what I'm going to do is give y'all a good show. But I'm not going to mention him. I'm not going to mention anything else. Because in all reality, it does hurt people. And because SNL is syndicated. And because Eddie Murphy is one of those actors, especially black actors, where when you watch him, you're clinging on to everything that he says. Because his whole thing is this. <clears throat> he didn't say if he did or didn't agree. But his stance was he wasn't going to talk about it. I was so here for that. I really was. I'm just like, you know what? That's what we need. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to drag somebody through the dirt for ratings. So I was here for that. Well, I mean, well, 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 well fan, if you if you don't come on through with the dang on tizzy and shit, because y'all know I'm here for it. Come on through now. Come on through. <clears throat> but it's one of the things where I'm, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that there are still people that have morals and that have standards and that have that whole this is something that I want to talk about this is something that I want to do roles that I want to accept like I'm happy about that he was well see his thing I didn't see it so just all three minutes so he didn't do like an actual like skit scene type thing y'all let me know most definitely m m most definitely but y'all know I'm I, I'm I'm gonna have to talk about something similar when I talk about um Miss Raptor Face. <clears throat> definitely, definitely. I I mean I didn't see it, but I would assume that he was. 
Okay, but even then, that is, okay, no skip. But even then, even just him thanking his fans. But I'm glad that he used that moment to sit here and thank everybody that has supported him, rather than tearing one a person but two another black man down. I'm glad he did not use that platform for that reason. I'm so damn happy, so happy. I get. You know what? I think he probably didn't want to be there, but you know, again, publicity, all the other stuff. You said people were upset. Now, were they upset that he didn't talk about Bill or that he didn't do a skit? Y'all gotta let me know now. Y'all gotta let me know <clears throat> what 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 it is. What, what to do? What what's the tea? Oh, okay. You know, I think what it was is, and again, I wasn't there, but I would like to think, because I don't want to assume, but I guess when he wasn't going to talk about uh, Bill, they probably just said, okay, well, you're going to get you a little three minutes and that's it. So I want to talk about something <clears throat> that, you know, I'm trying to figure out why. Ah, okay. I'm glad he didn't do it then. Okay. So, there is, uh, I forget, I think it was on Bossip that I saw this on. There um, <clears throat> is a transgender couple, male and female. And um, so, you have uh, Marquise and Felicity. So, <clears throat> Felicity was born male, who is now female. Marquise was born female, which is now male. But they still have their respective reproductive organs. And supposedly they're this new hot couple in ATL and everybody is, you know, just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now, I'm not here to shit on nobody's parade, but I know when I was in Korea <clears throat> doing fucking CQ, I saw, well, actually I was with somebody on CQ, I already wasn't on it, but there was a clip of, you know, just two people who, you know, had sex change because that's who they identify with, but they're of the opposite respect of sex. And it was one of those where it just was what it was, but it seemed like, okay, Richard, we just want to sit here and cling on to something and make something big. And again, like I said, I'm not here to shit on anybody's parade, but my thing is this, let them do what they do. If they, you know, pretty much have the, you know, change themselves to look like the opposite sex, but still have the reproductive organs, let them do what they do. Now, I don't know if they're fighting for a reality show, but I mean, if that's the case, I mean, I'll watch. Because <clears throat> it might be interesting, you know, but it's one of those ways, like, everybody seems so surprised, like, oh my gosh, you were a man, but now you're, you know, uh, a girl, you were a girl, now you're a man, but y'all just wind up together. I don't see why that's surprising. There's a lot of crazy shit that goes on in the world, so the fact that people are surprised about that... That surprises me. <laughs> Moving on. Mr. Delivered. I need I need to take a sip for this shit. Hold on. And thank y'all for the hearts. I do appreciate them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Delivered. Andrew Caldwell. Now y'all do remember <clears throat> he did the whole I'm delivered. I don't love man no more. You know, he did that. And then, I'm pretty sure I did on my video last week that not only did he accuse, did he say that he slept with Cordell Stewart. I know, I know. But I, I gotta talk about this. I do. Not only did he say that he slept with Cordell Stewart and he even mentioned Portia, it comes out that he lied about it, which I think we all kind of knew that he did. Because... You know, every, everybody has their, you know, everybody side-eyeing Cordell on some real shit, but it, it's been said by everybody. In the event Cordell is gay, which I don't think any of us really care, I don't think Delivered is his, um, his cup of tea in the event. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, he only lied because we know he lied. He only did it because he was trying to catch fame. He wants fame for whatever reason and you know of course he issued his apology and I think he did that because yeah you he could have possibly stared down a fucking lawsuit which I really hate to, now part of me wants Cordell to sue him just so it's just one of those where bitch you won't do it again but he would take it for everything that he has but he didn't 
So now he's all booed up with his little, you know, squirrel. And he's all herbed up with his beard. And the caption said, I am not gay no more for real this time. I'm officially delivered. Something is wrong with him. Something is truly, truly wrong. I think he's chasing fame. I really, really do. It's just like, like, what are you really doing this for? And on some, <clears throat> and on the real, real. Like I said, you know, for those of y'all who watch me, like I said, I grew up in a Christian household, converted to Judaism, all the good jazz. Hold on. Oh, no, you didn't. Don't shade CBS like that. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, I'm, like I said, I'm very spiritual. I hold tight to everything, but I don't like playing with God. And for him to sit here and say, you know, I'm delivered, I'm not getting more. If that's true, then let it be true. But don't sit here and say that you're delivered. Yeah, you want to sit here and lie, which we all know lying is is horrible. Wait. <laughs> but it's just like you you can't do that, and especially you want because like I said, the Bible says don't be a tail bearer amongst your people, you know. So it's like you don't want to sit here and spread lies about somebody, and then all for what? And then you did this for fame. Because, I mean, here's the thing, and I'm not trying to turn this into a spirit of soul, but, I mean, be rest assured, and I'm pretty sure I'm quoting the New Testament right now, but <clears throat> pretty much if you want the riches of this world, that's all that you're going to get. Because when, when, when you give up the ghost, you're not going to inherit eternal, you're not going to inherit glory, because all you wanted was this right here. And you want to sit here, you want to sit here and play with God for what? Okay. When God show him, when God show his face and show show this boy, not this man, but this boy who he really is, he gonna be sorry that he didn't walk up in the Lord's house playing these motherfucking games. Okay. Moving on. So I'm ending this video. I'm, this is not the end yet, but I'm gonna end this video with congrats. <clears throat> I'm not including Tyra Banks in this. I know, again, like I said, you know, I had to make, because I'm pretty sure, but just want to put that out there. Thank you for, thank you for getting me together, because I'm pretty sure that it was. Just want to make sure, you know, but just want to put that out there. I'm not trying to make this a whole spiritual thing, but, you know, hey, every now and again, I got to give y'all a little bit, you know, what's in the good book, okay? But, um, I wanted to give Tower Banks her own shot. <clears throat> so... Tyra Banks has pretty much announced that Cycle 22 of America's Next Top Model is going to be the last. Now, again, no motherfucking shade at all. Like, I watched the very first season. I watched several seasons after that. You know, like I said, the first season, who want, I wanted her to win. I think she's fucking gorgeous. You know, I watched with Yaya and Eva. Like, I... I didn't know that it has still been on, but I've been kind of detached. Again, y'all know I was in Korea for two years and most other shit. But I'm going to say this. <clears throat> Even though I went and did my research, I know, right? But I did my research. Again, the ratings have dropped steadily over the years. But the fact that she has seen 22 fucking seasons... I don't know how many reality shows outside of the real world, but we really can't include the real world and, you know, those other spinoffs, but more recent, for her to have gone 22 seasons with this, we have, we have to say, you know, again, we gotta, we have to applaud our sister, we really do, because, I mean, I, I, I followed it. Takara, <laughs> the Takara session. I'm just, but but Takara been doing her shit though. I don't know if she's doing anything lately. But what I'm saying is, you know, all right. I'm sorry because again, I still have shit popping on my fucking video. But Ram Maddox just thanked me for doing her tag, so I'm glad she enjoyed it. But, um, but yeah, check out that tag video. Oopsies. <laughs> but I mean, but let's be happy that she has been able to do this for 22 seasons. What current, you know, um, I guess we could say reality. Like, exactly. It's amazing. And it's one of those it's like we have to give her those props. We do. Because, again, what show do we know? What reality show 
again, outside of road rules in the real world, has been on for 22 seasons. Um, America's X Top Model started in 2013. Season 22 is going to be the last damn season. So, I mean, on some real shit, congrats to her. And I'm pretty sure it's probably airing right now. I don't like to jump into anything, as, you know, partially through. But again, I mean, kudos to her. Kudos to her. And for those of you who do not know, she took a chance on America Next Top Model. And that one season, had the first season not popped off, she would have been done. But she did some good shit with it. Oh, she is. She's a fantastic, um, you know, businesswoman. Now, she did try to pop off a uh, music career. I did like the song. What was it? Shake My Body, Move My Body, some shit like that. I like the song, but, you know, she just needs to stick with beauty, fashion, and runways, but not music, just saying. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. She tried. She tried. All right, y'all. So, Matthew Knowles. Did y'all did y'all know that I was going to talk about him today? Matthew Knowles. So apparently, really, the black folks don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Brad Biscuit. Well, you know, I, I want to talk. I, all that I want to talk about is this, because th what I'm and the funny thing is, what I'm about to talk about is going to roll right into the very next thing that I want to talk about. But <clears throat> apparently, he's upset with Kelly Rowland because uh, there is a reality show coming out on um, BET in 2016. I'm going to let you guys know I really don't fuck with BET like that, so I will not be watching on some real shit because we all know BET has been sold out by Viacom. So we ain't getting shit good. Not nothing. And Random Matter is really commenting on this tag video. If y'all haven't seen the tag video, the tag video is the blueprint tag. So if you guys get a chance to check it out because she's still commenting on it. But anyway, he's mad because apparently Kelly Rowland stole his idea of a... Um, talent competition reality show last that I checked ooh EBT baby ooh. <laughs> yeah yeah so that's what I meant but again I'm trying to be nice today but y'all y'all really want me to sit and act the fuck up on camera but I'm not I'm gonna try to reserve myself I gave y'all a little bit now I gave y'all a little bit but <clears throat> he's mad that uh Kelly Rowland stole his idea even though we have the boys, we have X Factor, X Factor, all these different other fucking countries and continents, American Idol, you know what I'm saying? But from what's being said, because the show is called Chasing, you know, Destiny, I will not be watching. But the the from what I've been told, or from what I've seen, the, sh the concept is not from Kelly, because apparently they talked about it, but it's not from Kelly. It was something that BET shows, and... They went with Kelly Rowland, so I'm just. And here's the thing: Matthew is a fucking attention whore. He's even still trying to host seminars to teach people how to sit here and be a fucking music sensation. Now, I will say, when it comes to PR and press, he's good with that. But he needs to smooth just, just go on somewhere. Just, just, just find him a bitch layer with have an illegitimate child and just fucking be happy. Cause I'm tired of him. Moving the fuck on. So, got to talk about some Real Housewives of Atlanta, you guys. So, Carlos King and Sheree Whitfield. So, all of this is alleged, but I think a lot of this is spot the on, you guys. So, she had went to him and pitched the idea about, because... Okay, re I don't know recently, but she has her uh, ooh, ooh, side eyes. She has um, her um, real estate license. So I guess in her doing real estate since Real Housewives ended, she went to him and kind of, I don't know if she, I think she semi-pitched it, pitched it to him. But, you know, she pretty much told him, why we, you know, I want to do a show about, you know, black women in ATL selling real estate. Well, what happened is Carlos King decided that he wanted to go ahead and he pitched the show because he used to be an executive producer for Real Housewives of Atlanta. 
he pitched it to TV One and it got picked up. When it got picked up, he went ahead and, from what I understand, made sure Ray an executive producer on that show and I guess was able to make it so that she can get her peach back on Real Housewives to keep her from filing a lawsuit. Well, Sheree has been informed that <laughs> I know I think shit told Sheree is built. I think it's done. I, I really do think it's I think she's done with it now. She probably went into real estate to pay for the shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even though I can't wear the shit because I'm a fucking dude, I mean, you know, fucking young thug might wear it, but I want to know, has she come out with a, you know, shit by charade? Has that come out yet? Y'all let me know, because I, I, I really don't know. I, I don't know if it's come out yet. But she was told that out of the 20, out of the um, 24 episodes... No, it's over. <laughs> you ain't seen it, okay. But she will only be in 10 to 12 episodes out of 24. Now, let's stop right here. Did y'all catch that? 24. That means we gonna sit here and watch this fuckery for 24 fucking weeks. Not to include if holidays and shit pop up, we might not see it then. So anywhere from 24 to probably 27 fucking weeks. In addition to she would not be on the three-parter reunion. Now, lies. What's lies? Because if you got something that I don't have, I need for you to please, please share what's lies. But again, another fucking three-part. So 24-episode season and three-part of fucking reunion. So we need to get ourselves ready. Again, since I'm going to be away, I'm probably, if I can't do a video... You're not watching the mess? Okay. But if I can do videos while I'm out doing my little thug dizzle, y'all know when I come back, I'm going to make up for it. And y'all know I will come back thunderous with a full fucking force because y'all know how it does with my YouTube. So that's it for Carlo King and Shit by Sheree. I forgot to write this down and I have it up, so it's going to be in one of my last comments. So let's talk about Memphis and Toya. Get these motherfuckers out of the way. So, if I don't know if it was Memphis or Hit Town, if you want to say his name, or Toya, but apparently they have been trying to get a reality show. No, they just couldn't. So, I guess in a last effort to have some type of notoriety, they're going to be on, I believe it's Bravo's show, Untying the Knot. They're going to make an appearance. So, because they can't have their own show, they're going to make an appearance. Yeah, who cares? That's it. Moving on. So, I have a couple things left, you guys. I have two more stories, and I have, and I'm going to end this with a congratulations to several individuals. Before I do it, we have one or two people. So, either which one do you want me to talk about first? Do you want me to talk about Ann Coulter? And Raven Simone, or do you want me to talk about Claudia Jordan and fucking Ricky Smiley? Which one should I talk about first? And I need to I need to pull myself a, a brand new look cup for this shit. This shit was good, y'all. Y'all y'all so so which one y'all want me to talk about first? Let me know. Claudia. Yo, 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 you wanna talk about Claudia? Hold on. I know she did, right? I know she did. Cla okay, okay, okay. I, 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 guess, I guess the very is Claudia and Ricky. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I have all of the tweets pulled up. So I'm going to have to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read, talk to y'all, read, talk. I'm going to do it like that because a lot came out. So if you guys want to see these tweets and everything again they're on my facebook fan page now I, I, I know i'm sitting here promoting a lot but that's where all the tea gonna be at so apparently uh claudia jordan just decided that she wanted to read the motherfucking piss and spill all the tea about fucking ricky smiley except she never said his name but again contest clues everybody and when i say these tweets were like back to fucking back they were back to fucking back. So the first tweet is, 
it is amazing how these so-called religious, successful, and grown men that claim to be walking in the light can't wait to gossip about me shaking my head. That was the first one. We're going to move on to the second one. Okay. Y'all can't, oh, I'm sorry, why can't folks just part ways professionally without going the bitch route? Some partnerships just ain't meant to be. Doesn't mean you got to be enemies. Now, if y'all know if Ricky didn't say some shit that I don't know about, please, again, go to the fan page, put that shit, or even DM me on Twitter, send me a fucking email, let me know, because I, I need to know the tea, because I don't know if he just said some shit, but apparently, I guess, whispers in the wind, he just said something. Moving on to the next quote. It is really mind-blowing. Say one thing pub, uh, well, yeah, publicly and lie slash hate privately. You do not want folks to know your truth to do the same to you. Next quote. But it's coming, sir. And not even for me. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> but the streets are talking. And when you treat so many people foul, karma comes. Now you say it's coming. But you're going to leave it alone. But if you come back with one more motherfucking tweet, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, Claudia. Just disappointing that folks can take the same situation two different ways and run with their truth and try to recruit others. Hashtag corny. Next one. Luckily, he's not as much of a power player as he'd like to think outside of his own world where folks constantly lie to him to pacify him dollars. Next quote. This Tito. Next. But really, all you do is motivate me to climb higher and higher. It seemed to work thus far. I just wish folks weren't so shady, though. I, I know, right? I know. I know. <laughs> like when I said she was doing these motherfuckers back to back, shit. In the AM on the 13th, baby. Next quote. But I did see you do it to your childhood friend. So I don't know why I'm surprised you did the same slander slash lie thing to me. Expect a letter. Now let, let's pause right there because there's still a couple more. Who do y'all think that childhood friend was? Who do y'all think that Claudia was talking about? And hold on, what the fuck is my damn vape at? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Had to grab my damn vape. You don't know. Ebony. Ha ha. Mystique. Exactly. Exactly. Had to give y'all some old so that I can't be talking and not sit here hit on shit though. But yes, yeah, like I'm sitting here like, well, hot damn, Claudia, shit, you know. But I mean, here's the thing, shit. I'm here for the motherfucking team because I mean, shit, this this team good as shit. Oh yeah, she she's, she she talking about that, buddy. And on some real shit, before I continue to read, I will say that I can appreciate both of those women. For what it's worth, you know, just exiting gracefully. But this leads me to believe Ricky been either he been talking shit or it's been getting back to Claudia that he been saying shit. And on some real though, I'm really not mad that she just like you know what fuck it, I'm gonna sit here and tell everything. I mean, hey, shit, spill the tea, cause I mean, hell, my 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 cup is you know starting to get a little bit empty. I need to get filled up. Oh, wait, 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 but here's the, I, I got you, because I, I used to be here for Ricky, but I haven't hit the channel for him anymore, but the next quote she said, <laughs> y'all need to be right, okay, here we go, till you do right by me, your real hairline and eyelashes will, <laughs> will never grow, 
and that I will forever say called hashtag I'm so petty. <laughs> you know what? Hold on, wait. Fuck that. I came with her. I cannot. But you know what? Hey, fuck it. She gonna be petty, but... <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, I don't know, y'all. That shit had my ass just all like... Like, I don't I don't have her shit, but I was clutching my shirt just like, oh, shit. And then she goes on to say, he hates women. Always fussing with women. Oh, hold on. <laughs> women say. Really? You know, I missed that one. I might even need to subscribe to her. I didn't know she was on Periscope, though. Oh, yeah, she she gave his ass a silly. They gave his ass that right to you. She, yeah, mm -hmm, cursed that ass. But she further went on to say, he hates women, always fussing with women, always arguing with women, always mad at a woman, and wears dresses like one. Oh, oh, almost definitely. I, I love the bra. I love the bra. Come on now, Chicago all day. All oh, mother, I love me some motherfucker. Don't, don't, don't get the shit twisted, baby. But the fact that she says wears dresses like one, and then somebody, um, the um. Twitter name is at Nirvana said so. Said at Colin Jordan, if you're talking who I think his disdain for women is so obvious. Because again, she ain't say name. She ain't drop name though. You know, somebody uh, you know what? And I, I, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it but they posting that. But give me a second. But uh, somebody uh Yeah, yeah, has bitch like tendencies, yeah. But somebody by the by the uh, Twitter name at the Dre Derome and Claudia Joy Ricky got you riled up this morn! Exclamation! She says, "Yup, the audacity! If he faces me and stop hiding, I'll tell him to his face. No fear when you have the truth on your side." I mean, when I said she was post shit, she was post shit, y'all. Even said, damn, that felt good. Way better than I thought. We can all take the high road for so long. When they keep provoking, the big guns come out. Two more, y'all. Right now, a gang of people that have witnessed what I'm talking about are quietly cheering me on under their breath like, yes, girl, yes. And then finally ends with, I feel like going into a praise break. Dot, 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 I'll be back. Hashtag shade. Now, <laughs> I'm just sitting here it's like, you ain't right. You ain't right. But I was here for it. All the motherfucking way. And on some real shit, she did bow out gracefully. But the fact that she even went to doing this leads me to believe Ricky been saying some shit. So I'm going to say this, Ricky. You might want to stop. You might want to slide on back, okay? But that was Miss Claudia Joy, and I almost forgot to talk about her. But I'm glad I still had this tab, this uh, tab up because I didn't have it on my notes. But yeah, I had to talk about it, and I had to talk about it. So, you know, she is in her feelings though. But it's one of those things where. And if I can talk to y'all for a second, I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all for a second. And I'm not really trying to go too biblical on y'all. I'm really not trying to. But here's my stance. I do believe in general. Now, we can sit here and shrink what I'm about to say. But I do believe in general, we're all kings and queens. Okay. <clears throat> we're all kings and queens. You know, in the book of Genesis, you know, it says that. Exactly, but she's not anymore. But what I'm going to say is this, you know, the Bible does say that, you know, we were made after the likeness of God and after his image, paraphrasing more or less. But if we're made after the likeness of God, you know, of course, God is a deity, but that's God with a big G. Now, I need for y'all to follow me. Don't I don't want y'all to sit here and lose track of what I'm saying. 
but God is big G. If we're made after his likeness and fashioned after him, that would make us, and dare I say it, God's ourselves, but that's with a little G, because we're not on the same level as him. And what that means is, some of what God can do, we can do as long as we stay in our spiritual self. This is not the T right now, but this is me being me. God is a king. Am I right or am I wrong about it? So if God is a king, that means all of us were princes and princesses. So every last one of us, we are sitting on our respective thrones. If you feel what I'm saying, I hope I'm not losing y'all right now. So because we're sitting on our and I wasn't even going to go here, but I'm just talking about it though. If we're sitting on our throne, every last one of us, we have a throne that we sit on. Every now and then, some of us, we will get off our throne, walk down the motherfucking stairs, and we will start to act like a jester. We will act like a commoner. Okay, I'm glad y'all feeling me right now. We will act like peasants. When you get off your throne and you come down them stairs, you want to throw, you know, tomatoes, sling mud, and all this other stuff. You have come off your throne, and you have become a commoner. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a tie to this. Y'all might not agree with it, but I need for y'all to follow me here. You have people that will come off of their throne, and they will dethrone themselves to sit here and sling fucking mud. I've done that several times, but more often than not, when people come for me, I'm not talking about YouTube because I mean ain't nobody on YouTube can really touch me on some real shit. But in what I do for a living, I have people come for me. I sit on my damn throne. I don't get off. Seldomly. Seldomly I will get off. Seldomly, because I'm, I'm from the hood. So every now and again, you know, you can't you can't test my gangster and think I ain't gonna sit here and say some shit to you. But more often than not, you get talking shit, I'ma just sit here and I'ma just look at your ass like you fucking stupid. I'm not gonna reply to you. It doesn't mean that I'm fucking weak, but it means that I know my divinity in God. So I'm not gonna reduce myself. To come to your level. So the fact that you have allowed yourself to go from being a king or queen to something less than, I'm not going to do that. Yes, people try to get a character all the time. Yes, yes. And I need to see what he said too, but, what, but I'm just saying just in general, we're all kings and queens. Regardless of race, gender, and everything else. Now, of course, if we want to shrink this, yes, we are kings and queens. Way back when we were considered to be deities, we were considered to be on a godly level. If you go all the way to fuck back, but again, I'm speaking generally right now, and that's how I am. You know, uh, you know, uh, Sweet De Niro, you know, with um, Erica De Niro and Nate, when they would do their reviews and whatnot, she was beefing, you know, Erica was beefing with somebody, and I told her, Stay on your throne. She was like, I ain't never got off, I've been sitting the whole time. I was like, That's right. And her favorite phrase is, come on, bitch. And I wanted to say that shit to her, but, you know, I won't be disrespectful and shit. But, that's how I feel. We're kings. We're queens. When people come at you left and shit, because on this whole little social media network, or even just in general, people think if you don't reply, you being weak. Sometimes not saying shit and just letting the motherfucker make a fool of themselves says more than you ever opening your motherfucking mouth. Exactly. We do have God's grace. I mean, because here's the thing also. I mean, because the, the word is the word. And, I, and like I said, again, y'all know I'm on the Old Testament side. But on the Old Testament, it says, I will bless those that bless you. I will curse those that curse you. God is my shepherd, I shall not want. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like I know scriptures for days where I hold on to them and they keep me blessed every day. I know some scriptures where if I want to and I pray and I say them out loud and put them on your head, God will come for you the very next day, but I don't do that. You feel what I'm saying? But again, what I'm saying is just being a king and a queen and knowing, or even a prince and princess in this heavenly court, and knowing where you stand. You don't have to come off your damn pedestal. You don't have to come off your damn chariot. And I say that because I know a lot. You know, y'all might have disagreed with me where I'm going right now. Many people have had a lot of shit to say about Mariah from Married to Medicine. I agree with her in everything that she said. The delivery might have been messed up. 
But when she said, I would knock it off my chariot and throw tomatoes with you, something along those lines, I feel her on that. I'm going to stay poised. I'm going to stay on my shit. Because while you want to sit here and sling mud, throw tomatoes, this, that, and third, my ass is still prim and motherfucking proper on that ass. Thank you. But you have a lot of people that think that she was being very... And here's the thing. I have people on YouTube that are against her. But what I'm saying is when you know who you are and when you know who you are in God, you not going to let somebody sit here and take you off your damn throne at all. Exactly. And, and, and here's the thing also, really, and I understand the turn of. I'm not going to lie. I'm human. Every now and then, yeah, I will go from being, you know, a prince to I will bring myself down because sometimes I have to get your ass together. But more often than not, I will let you make a fool of yourself because the Bible even says a fool will talk, but someone that is wise will either be quiet or say very little. And I'm gonna move the hell on. But I want y'all to look up what I've said. A lot of it was paraphrased, but if you type it in, you find a lot of what I said in the fucking Old Testament. And again, my background is uh, Judaism because I am a convert. It is what it is. So, moving on. The View and the Coulter. Now, I know a lot of people got a lot of shit to say about this woman. I know. But when I heard about this shit and I watched the videos, I'm not going to say that she read Raymond Simone for Phil. I will not say that. But what I will say is she got her ass together in less than one motherfucking minute. Better yet, got that ass together in less than 30 motherfucking seconds. When you would sit here and get somebody ass together in less than 30 motherfucking seconds to the point where they can't say shit to you. Hold on. Okay, here's what it is, y'all. Here's what it is. <laughs> Lord, I never, I'm just saying, here, here's my thing. I, I, was go, I was actually going to watch the whole entire uh, show. Cause I don't watch the view, but some, but it was posted online, so I watched the interaction. So you have Raymond Simone, who decided to say that if your name is Will Malone Dre, I would not hire you, cause she prefers discrimination rather than racism. And I didn't say his name last week because I forgot the name, but it was Trey Melvin. If y'all are not subscribed to him, his uh, his uh, channel is this is a commentary. Please look him up. When I put this on YouTube, I will do my damnedest to put the link in the description box. I fucking love his channel. I do. His shit's fun to me. On some real shit. So, and she even mentioned in her, when she was doing the whole apology thing, that that's how she knew who this character was. Oh, he did. I saw that shit after I did some shit. He did. Exactly. Well, smooth the fuck on through now. But this is what happened. So you want to go in on um, Ann Coulter again. I don't follow all this shit, so I'm not that upset with her. I'm not really into the politics and everything. But again, if you know what I do for a living, it's a reason I don't follow politics. It's, it's really a fucking reason right now. So. I'm giving y'all old school spilling all the tea teas, if you will. Blowing it in your face and shit, sipping on the mug. I'm sipping on the tea. I'm giving y'all old school right now. If y'all watch the channel, you'll know why it's old school. I'm giving it to you. But um, Raven decides to say that, well, my mother taught me, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. And even going so far as say is, you know, why would you say something that touched the hearts of many people? There are listening, I just want to know. <clears throat> now, before I say what uh, Ann told this hoe, if that's the case, then why are you sitting here saying that if you have a ghetto name, that I will not hire you? Because that's not nice at all. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. 
<laughs> I want them to fire her as I really do because she needs to just get the fuck off. But and y'all know these chaps say right now because hell, chap lips is not sexy and it really isn't. So, but <clears throat> but for all of this, you say this. You're sitting here saying my mother taught me this, but you're displaying the exact opposite. Now, I know a lot of people are not here for Anne. Again, I don't follow politics for a reason. And I'm going to just say this. I am in the armed services. So regardless of who I vote for or not, whomever is the president, I'm obliged to follow what comes out. Okay? That's why it's one of those where it does not matter to me regardless because I still have to do my job. You feel me? But for you to sit here and speak this shit out your mouth, I know some people mad at motherfucking Ann, but Ann got that ass together. Smooth, quick, on that ass, got it together. Because she pretty much said, I'm talking about policy, but you're talking about how you won't hire somebody because of what their name is. Now, I'm going to say this. Do I believe that Ann is discriminatory and would do the same exact shit? You stop, stop getting ahead of me right now. <laughs> y'all gotta let me get that old, but I appreciate y'all being here. <laughs> I'm gonna get there though. But she went in because she's like, I'm talking about policy. It, it's good. It, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool because I'm getting that old. But you talking about this, and before Raven can say anything, you saw her turn into a black woman despite the fact she now here's the thing on some real shit I don't like labels either I really don't but you can't do what the fuck you do and don't expect somebody to come for you <laughs> that's right twice a motherfucker day on that ass but when she said that shit Raven tried to say something and then she just whatever whatever but here's the thing though you know what I'm saying I know she wasn't expecting somebody to come for her, but Ann got that ass together. Quick, smooth, fast, and motherfucking professionally got her ass together. In less than, better yet, fuck it, less than, I'm going to say less than a minute, but less than 30 fucking seconds got her ass together. She couldn't say shit because you want to sit here, you want to be sitting here uh, licking on that motherfucker because you want them to side with you, but they not. But she now again, I do believe Ann feels the same exact way. But and here's the thing I think somebody on Ann's team told her ass if Raven come for you, this is what the fuck you say. I was fucking here for it. Got your way. And here's the thing that was a read. And I'm going to tell you what, now, I don't know about reads and shit, but I'm going to tell you why I say this is real. The fact that she said it, the fact that everything she said was true, and the fact that not only one, if you watch that video clip back, you can see that she, even though she's not black, the black came out of that ass. But the fact that because it was so true that when you tried to say something, you couldn't say shit at all. She got your ass together. I'm not gonna. She, I'm not gonna say she read you for filth, but she got your ass together because here's the thing: everybody wanted her to address this shit on Monday when the view came back on, but she didn't. But the fact that in less than thirty fucking seconds she got your ass together and you couldn't say shit back to her, yes. So the MVP of my fucking trending topic is Ann Coulter. I'm just saying. So before, because like I said, I'm going to end this video with congrats, but I want y'all to sit here and tell me how y'all felt about this. Please let me know. Oh, yes. Yes. She read her. She read her down. I mean, again, oh, to me, like I said, because, you know, like I said, I, I don't know all about the reads, but when you can sit here and give somebody honesty and then shut the ass up. That is a read to me. But again, before I get on to, because like I said, the very next thing I have is congrats and then I'm done. But what y'all think about that? Because I think she got her smooth the fuck together. Okay, now here's the thing. Miss, uh, I think it's uh, Dory. Did you actually watch the whole thing? Because I did. I was going to, but I saw the clip went viral. And that's when I watched it. But 
<clears throat> I mean, I was entertained. I was here for. I, I really want to know what y'all think about it because again, we're interacting. I'm reporting the news, but y'all tell me how y'all feel. <laughs> she observed it. I, I I thoroughly I thoroughly enjoy it. You saw the clips too, and it's one of those where it's just like. It, what really upset me is when she was like, well, my mother taught me this, and you got the fucking audience clapping, applauding her, yet you don't follow what it is that your mother, quote-unquote, taught you. But anyway, so now we're at the very end, you guys. I know we've been on here for a while. For all of y'all who have been on here since the beginning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it because again this video will go up on YouTube like I said my YouTube channel is spilling space all space the space T so you guys go ahead and check that out also my um, YouTube fan page well, I'm sorry my Facebook fan page is uh, all together spilling all the tea all my different social media information is up there so you guys can go ahead and follow me but we're going to go ahead and end this with congrats because I want to end this on a good note. So, <clears throat> John Legend. Oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes. She deserved that shit. <laughs> deserved it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Also, I reached uh, 1,000 uh, tea spillers because that's who I call everybody. <laughs> I don't say subscribers because I think that is so. It's almost like putting myself on a pedestal because, you know, most of my media information is tea spilling. You guys are tea spillers. Thank you. So I reached 1,000. So for everybody that is subscribed, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. So, well, congrats. Is congrats to me. Reached 1,000. Yay. And uh, Frank, you came in on very tail end, but we're ending up so you can catch the replay. But, um,. John Legend and his wife, they are expecting their first child, so congrats to them. And uh, thank, thank you so much for the congratulations, thank you. Uh, CBS uh, picked up Ludacris' show called The uh, Downbeat. It's supposed to be like a drama show. I won't be watching, but again, congrats to him. Uh, Idris Elba has been chosen to co-chair the uh, Met Gala this year. He is the second uh, black person to um, be picked since uh, Beyonce in 2013. So, congrats to him. And Janet Jackson is back on top with her latest album. So, congrats to her as well. So that is all that I have. I told y'all I had a lot to, to talk about this time around. There was a whole, whole lot. <clears throat> I know, yeah, we're at the very end. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being interactive with me. Again, I will do my best to come back with reviews and even do periscopes. But I will be out doing my dang old thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm really glad. I really do. You know catch the replay you know like i said just us sitting here talking a whole lot of mess but you know if i can do videos over the next four to five weeks while i'm doing my job i can if not you know that faithfully if i can't do videos i will come back and i will hit y'all with videos of the woo-ha so y'all get them while i'm out doing my job y'all will get them and i mean y'all will get a bulk of them so you ain't gotta worry about that so thank you guys for watching and again, since this is going to be on YouTube, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Log on to, uh, <clears throat> we'll connect to my uh, Facebook fan page. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, Periscopes on my channel. But please rate, comment, subscribe, share. Connect with me on social media. And until next time, if I don't do any more videos in the next several weeks.